Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This is going to be episode number 38 in the series and in this episode it's going to be slightly different because I want to build a road bridge, the Humber Suspension Bridge to be exact. I thought with the big huge update that we've just had with suspension bridges being added to it, I thought I'd make use of the new update and take a look at that. I have already subscribed to a mod which was available before the update got launched which was just a recolor of the suspension bridges because the default is red so that's the uh, mod we'll be using for that uh, eagle-eyed viewers amongst you will recognize that this is an east coast train and not a transitional virgin VTEC east coast co color uh, just after i'd finished the recording i was doing some extra little bits just with some tweaks with bus networks and things and the game crashed and i hadn't saved it auto save was turned off so i'd lost all the progress that i did during the last episode i have rebuilt the york to scarborough route but i thought i would just take advantage of the time period to take a look at the east coast liveried uh, stock because it is quite a nice uh, livery actually i do quite like the look of this so uh, yeah that's what's happened with that those i'm not sure if those rams are supposed to be purple Possibly not. Maybe it's just something to do with the update. Uh, maybe they are supposed to be purple. Don't know. But uh, yeah, it's just a good looking, uh, good looking livery. So I will speed the game forward. I'll, maybe in a couple of episodes actually, because I don't think I'm ready for it yet. But we'll jump off the uh, Dar Darlington to Grantham service, and hopefully, where are we? We're over here, aren't we? So the new bridge wants to be around here which is just to the west of Hull I believe just double checking uh, not entirely sure do I want to make it 100% realistic I'm not sure it's not overly complicated anyway the, uh, the actual junction onto the bridge is just a roundabout which is seems a bit strange but the actual bridge itself I think it's four lanes in each direction so it wants to be around here somewhere. I suppose it will be good to have it in because it will help to get traffic between the two different places. It will help to get traffic between New Holland and Hull and down towards Scunthorpe as well and Barnetby. So yeah, it is good to have a decent um, to have a decent decent road network in place. So I'm going to build it. Just around here I guess I'm going to use the four lane in two lane in each direction it wants to be relatively high off the ground and we're just gonna drag it across fairly straightforward nothing too complicated and that looks a bit weird <laughs> as does that um, so does that let's just take a look at the stock one yeah needs I think we're going to have to go with red, Golden Gate Bridge red, unfortunately. Looks like the mod needs updating ever so slightly, which is a bit of a shame, but it's to be expected when you're using new mods and the new update is, you know, it really does change quite a lot, especially with regards to modding. I think this wants to be a little bit higher off the ground, so let's go something a little bit like that. Maybe, is that is that too much? I think that's about right and it's a dual span I think yeah need need to uh, put that onto there no that's gone to just wants to be a two tower suspension bridge not three looks a bit uneven now though that's the only thing we'll keep it like that anyway and then needs to come off on that doesn't want to be a suspension bridge anymore just I think concrete viaduct will will suffice I think I'll start to bring it down now that's the only thing where I think I need to turn on satellite so the railway does all sorts of so in fact the actual railway line itself needs to be needs to be relocated does it I think it does uh, yeah let's let's just pause the game we've got a new I think that's a new bulldozer icon by the looks of it. Yes, I know I've broken that. We're going to get rid of all this. Uh, let's yeah, just 
get it right back. We may as well, if we're gonna build it, build the actual suspension bridge, uh, we're gonna try and make that realistic. So we're gonna have to have the road network be realistic as well to fit in with that. So we're gonna get rid of all the road. Now this could be quite challenging, quite challenging actually. I think I'll get the road right back, get that right back as well. And then bring this in, so it wants to be something like that, not electrified. Bring it right down to the water's edge, like so, and then it just wants to, uh, I think I want to keep it. Now I have to be careful here, because I don't want to go too, no, it needs to come, come a little bit closer, come a little bit further away from the water's edge rather, so something like that. Keeping them about 100 and 110 should be more than fast enough and that just wants to run straight underneath the uh, Yeah, just like that Yeah, that's not too bad And then it is just gonna have what we're gonna have to do at this junction uh, Maybe have to rebuild this junction. I think completely by the looks of it Just get rid of all that and get rid of those trees as well And the paint while we're at it just quickly get rid of all that and then just curve this in I mean the speed no, that's, that's too too much it needs to be better than that I think get, get rid of that as well that'll be rebuilt anyway so let's see if I could just bring that off and then dock that into there I've also subscribed to the realistic braking profile as well so I'm not sure what sort of difference that's going to make to the approach, the speed on approach to the stations, but I'll worry about that later. Just need to check that. That's all. That's all fine. So the next bit is pretty tricky. So I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use the dual carriageway just because that's what it is. But having said that, that is too high. Yes, I know it's broken. Don't worry. I will repair it. So what I want to do is just bring it down, so it's going straight there, just want to bring it down a little bit. I think there's some new sounds as well by the sound of it. I have, I, I mean I've tried to read the whole update but there is a lot that has been changed so I'm not entirely sure about all the different changes but there's been some significant changes. The brake profile being one of them because that has been allowed by one of the well the actual updates itself one of the mod updates that's been made to the game has allowed for a change of speed profile so let's just bring that can I the only thing that has changed settings uh, controls camera no that's cameras show no that's all show hide stuff the only thing I, that's changed is oh, that's construction I wish that was a bit clearer. Right, so I have construction option three, which is page down, page up, which is up. So construction option three, precise is shift. So I've got to rebind that, have I? I see. Let's see if that's, yeah, that's done it. So I've had to rebind the keys for the precision mode. Uh, I want this to be going in the right sort of direction, don't I? So something like that. Doesn't want to be suspension bridge, just wants to be... No, doesn't want to be tied into that. Now can I bring that down? Let's see now. Up a little bit. Just has to be really as low as it can get it so it can go underneath the suspension bridge and then I just don't want to zoom out. I want, no, stop zooming out. I want it to be concrete viaduct. Like that. Or the newer one. Doesn't really matter. And then we just want it to curve out. I mean, this road, all of this upgrade and stuff isn't entirely necessary, but I guess if we're going to go for it, we may as well actually go for it. Can I get it in between those two piers there? I can. Superb. Bring that out. And I suppose this does all. It speeds up journeys between Hull and other places, so I guess it, it is it is helpful, especially in trying to grow the town. And then I think I'm just going to go with that and connect that one up as well. 
will be a bit of a weird junction there but I'm not too fussed about that. Next thing though is roundabout number of lanes two radius make it a little bit bigger. I need to bring that up don't I so it doesn't go too far into into the land before that so I think curves in and then something maybe not not quite so much of a curvature and then let's see oh, this is this could be a tricky bit getting this connected up so actually after going through all the effort let's hope we can get this viaduct across no it's 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 one of them is it that one good right so back down to modern modern viaduct not don't want it to come down quite so aggressively and then just bring that right down now let's see if we can do this I don't I'm not entirely sure I've never done this before on transport fever I've done it plenty on city skylines oh there we are it's that's not too bad that is apart from that right turn there I think that could be a little bit better as well yeah, so it's just done the same thing. They must have been gone to the uh, City Skylines man uh, School of Lane Management because it's getting that left, it's putting a left turn in there, which we don't really want to be honest. But never mind. And there's a bit of kink in the road as well, which I don't entirely like. Let's see if we can rebuild that better. Keep keep clicking on the wrong thing, which doesn't help. So let's. Is there a snapping point? No, there isn't anymore. Oh, that's unfortunate. So we bring that into there, and then what was I doing? So using the highway road to bridge wise. Maybe if I do that one first, and then that one. Yeah, you still get a bit of a kink either side, but I don't think you're going to be able to do anything better than that to be honest and then come back to this and keep scrolling back just bring this so it's got like a bit of a bit of a thing there and then we're going to try and tie this one in as well which is going to be probably wants to be a bit closer than where I've put it this is more Building roads definitely more challenging than building lines, railway lines. Get that into there. Highway road again. And chuck that no. Yeah, just just chuck that into there. That's no. No. It's not not right. Try it again. So get this road. With that. And we want it so right let's put this piece of road in first that might help actually and then this one here curves round so we've got like a 90 degree angle on it like so then we put the roundabout in with two lanes something like that and then that's two up in the air obviously smooth some of this off first we are getting there and then back to this at a, at a right angle to about there. I mean, it wants to be a short stub actually. And then we'll just have to live with live. What? Why? Why are you doing that? Shall I just do that? I don't want to. But now it's now it's making me do it. Um. Right. We'll have one more go and then if that doesn't work we will just dump it in. So actually forget it. Might argue that I'm giving up too easily, but I think it's just it doesn't look good anyway. So we'll get that on there. Can we build another another roundabout? No we can't, so we've gotta got to connect them manually, so well that's massive, don't want it that big wants to be just a little bit swell quite a considerably small on that one to about there get rid of that connect that up and then get a trumpet interchange that's going to be uh, that'll be interesting 
got to get this into got to get this into here before we get and we can't yeah I wondered about that actually I come down can you just can you just thing in there just just go in nicely any chance no chance so come off like that yeah that's a bit a bit exaggerated but not to worry and then that's not not ideal but never mind and I don't know don't know why that is like that right so come off here actually I suppose if you start from that angle it probably is, is a bit easier actually and then this actually curls round on itself a bit like that a bit like that not not exactly like that though I might need to move the railway a little bit I don't think I'm gonna get down to that roundabout I thought it was just going to be a simple case just plop in a bridge and, and done but I'm trying to I have to make things more complicated don't I so uh, yeah if we're gonna do it we're gonna do it right but apart from no. right let's flatten that for a start off that will make things a little bit easier put in a roundabout at least we've got a roundabout maker that's one thing put that in there like that and then get that connected up to there good delete that ugly looking junction and then smooth this off and then we've got a bit of a bit of a better bit of land to start working off so from this viaduct no from this from the viaduct no from why is that just like no Just do that. No, not having it at all now. Super. Did it before? I'm sure I did. What did I do differently? Come on, just, just a little, a little slip road. It's all I want. Just a little slip road. Maybe that's why. Maybe the slope. Nope. Right. So bring that down to there. Duck, just chuck it in. What I should have done is probably two separate dual carriageway sections, but that would have been too easy, wouldn't it? I think we're just going to have to go with a bit of an ugly, uh, an ugly junction like that over here somewhere. Nope, not next to the viaduct. It's not. It's not even letting me do anything near there. Right, so bring that up, flatten that like that, and then. Bring this out from here and then curve it in. Nope. Oh, you idiot. That's because I didn't have curve tool on, isn't it? That's why. So we can make that look a little tiny little bit better. Not not hugely, but no, not, not at all actually. It's fighting me every step of the way this. And then just chuck that into there. Be done with you. And this get this built as well so what I wanted to do was from so this is complicated so switch have you ever drive in oh, that messes everything up as well that's um, that should be an on ramp and this bit should be, I don't suppose it matters, as long as it's going in the, the sort of right direction. Come on, just just let me have a little, little bit of a slip road. I'm sure you can do that for me. Nope. Oh, there's one. Let, let's take it. Comes off there. I'm going to have to move this track again. Move that and then just start raising this up like this and then maybe we can get across, try and get it as low as possible, 
right down to the bottom, concrete viaduct, dump that into there. No, not quite like that. Bring this down quite. God, is that definitely as low as you can go? Get that. Oh, no, no, we're miles up in the air, right? Let's <laughs> let's build the bridge first. Something like that. Like that. Nope. Like that. That's definitely high enough. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely high enough. But it just wants us to be right. Okay. Wants us to be way up in the air like that, doesn't it? Which isn't attractive. It's a bit better, I think. Is it? I think it is. A bit, tiny bit lower. Just can't believe that that's the lowest that I can have it. That doesn't seem right. Maybe. Okay, go up in the air like that. Go for the concrete and then bring it down as much as we can. Yeah, that's as good as we're going to get it, I think. And then just bring that right down to there. Like that. And then try and connect that up. Like that. Yeah, that's not the best junction you're ever going to see, I don't think. But uh, it is what it is. And then, actually, is that a... It is. That's why. Good. So... Right, I was missing. I wasn't. I wasn't seeing the full picture. So we're coming off here. We're going to follow from here. Right, put a put a stub in. Follow it round like so. It's gone up a little, little bit too quickly. Yeah, I think what uh, I think what Transport Fever needs is something like Move It Mod. If you're going to be doing roads like this, I've seen plenty of decent roads, though, to be fair, but I think something like moving mud would be definitely be helpful. But it is it does work on a completely different sort of system, so I guess it's not, not easy to implement. Just trying to get that curvature to match a little bit better. Bring that to there. Is that that's fine. Can I collision? That's fine. We can just bring that in like so. Try and make sure they look at least a little bit symmetrical, and then just dump that in there, which we can't do because that's in the way. And what does that do? It's a funny old little roundabout. This one plenty going on. Get into there. What's that looking like? Pretty horrendous. I think this roundabout probably needs what's that actually that's that's horrendous as well. Maybe <laughs> try again. One more go, he says. Roundabout. Something like that. A bit further up in the air. We do some of the incline on the section that links the two roundabouts up like that, that should be alright and then road get that all connected up like that, that's not too bad and then it just gives a little bit more wiggle room as we try and come down onto this without no don't don't make the roundabout look rubbish why, why are you compressing the roundabout so this is actually um, on ramp like so good And then this is an thing. It's an an thing. Where's that? So bring that down to about there. Let's just try and keep it looking as even as physically possible and then just try and dump that into there somehow and just deform the entire road while you're at it. Can I? That was probably a mistake, wasn't it? Can I just do that? It still looks hideous. Why? You don't need to look so hideous. I tell you. Right, maybe if that's kept on the 
flat and then just try and get this into here why why are you going below it you don't need to go below it just need to dock in like that and then that's um, off ramp so spin that round upgrade that to that that's fine that's good no don't what oh yeah, I'm not definitely not trying anything like this again. I might I might do a little bit of a motorway, the M62 potentially, but I'm not. Oh, come on. Yeah, the road building tools definitely do leave a lot to be desired, don't they? Can I just have a little just a little bit of a stub of a road, please? <laughs> Alright, so this entire railway is getting moved. Good. So the railway is now going here. It's definitely not it's definitely not doing 50 miles per hour though, that's for sure. So the railway is there, 100, 112, that will do. And then back to this. So you want to be something like that. You want to be on that and then can I bring this down because we need to get under the suspension bridge and then just onto there good right so half the battle is won we're almost there I think just this right smooth some of this train off definitely would have been easier if I'd done yeah I should have done this two separate carriageways but I, was, I thought it'd be quicker and easier if I did it with the uh, the prefix one but obviously not tie that in to there maybe you can fake it a little bit so that is an off ramp and then we just want a straight bit to there now we don't want to be don't want to be up in the air thank you can we have a connection somewhere anywhere Collision, collision, colliding with everything. Right, so, oh, that's just, ah. Why? I thought you were flat. No, that's gonna, it's gonna break that, isn't it? Right, we're almost there, we're on the home straight. Let's just get that into there. Stay flat, level, good. Connect these back up. That was uh, definitely an interesting episode. Just that, that was flat. That was definitely flat. And it's like, nope, it's not flat. <laughs> it's definitely not flat. Like, no, you can't have flat road, not allowed. Right, so let's do it by eye this time. That, that's saying flat, but it's not, is it? Connect that up. And we shall never speak of this again. Can I just have... Nope, no you can't. And then that's just hideous then, isn't it? So bring that into there, like that. And then hopefully... Shouldn't be completely ugly. Come on. Just fight it. This has just been fighting me every step of the way it's just literally colliding with everything physically possible if it can collide with something it will right what's that that's that's all right that's acceptable it's not perfect it's acceptable which is i think as much as we can hope for so that comes onto there that goes that way no nope, that way and then that just looks pretty horrendous and then just put the track in. The track is the most important thing out of all this. At least the track looks a little bit, is in a bit more of the accurate position. It comes close to, a lot closer to the, the channel or the river than I had it originally. And then I think for this we are just going to go with, just going to downgrade it. After we've gone to all that effort we're going to downgrade it to something like that. Nope. 
something like that, that. Right the way down to the bottom, give that, that's got a collision. We've got a tunnel. Right, so we'll get the road bridge in first. Bridge, bridge too far. So we just want a concrete bridge like that. Nice and simple. We don't want any collisions, thank you very much. So get that in there. Good. We're almost there with this gruelling episode. <laughs> get that onto there. Can I just junk that on there? Junk? Don't want a tunnel, thank you very much. It's all fine. And then I think for now I'm just going to yeah, we'll, we may as well keep it with the dual carriageway theme, I think, as we come down to... I'm actually saying that, that does look a little bit hideous, so does that. So bring it down a little bit. Concrete viaduct to make it look a little bit better. This is coming down quite aggressively. Get rid of all this. This needs to be upgraded, and then just bring that down with the final little bit on an embankment. Apart from that little bit, because that's ugly. And then, what am I doing? Just going to get that connected up to that with another, another odd looking suspension bridge. Uh, and then dump that into there like that. Get all that upgraded, get the, the older bridge upgraded and upgrade that, that's fine. And upgrade all this as well. I don't know why that's not that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Thought it crashed again then. Uh, it just keeps going weird. Get that connected up. Fine, and then lastly, just before I finish this episode up, need to turn those traffic lights off. I don't need traffic lights because they should be just merging into the thing and what <laughs> he says as he notices something that he's missed. No, nope, no I haven't missed anything. I've just made a really ugly junction. I might have a go again at that off camera because it is a little bit ugly but we'll leave it there I think for today. Then we've got the main thing in. Unfortunately it's red but we will see if that mod gets updated at some stage. So I'm going to leave it there for today. And I guess until next time, bye bye.